Hello lovely people, how are we doing? Today we are talking all things skincare. I have been trying out skincare since I went away to Bali and that was quite a few months ago now, annoyingly. Oh, I wanna go back. Anyway, while I was there and while I was away, I was trying a different skincare and I've been trying it out since then. So that's quite a while ago. So it's time for a bit of a roundup. I thought I'd give you a roundup of all the products I've been trying out in the last couple of months. Please note, I have tried them out individually, so I would try something out for a certain amount of weeks before I would add anything else so I could gauge what was changing in my skin depending on the product I was using. So, this isn't just a, here's some shit I tried and this is what happened. I have actually tried them out properly so I could give you more information. So, first up we will start with cleanser. Now, Please, uh, another thing to note, I was using my Holy Grail skincare while I was away and it ran out and I had brought some other products to swap out whenever it did run out because I wasn't going to be able to obviously buy it while I was away. So this I started using while I was in Bali. I was using it as um, a cleanser all by itself just as my daily cleanse and that is not the way for me. So it's the Clarins Pure Melt Cleansing Gel. It just didn't clean my skin particularly well. I actually, um, it's great, okay. Okay, let's focus. It is great for removing makeup. So for example, after I'm done today, I'll use this to melt off my makeup and remove it off. And I believe that is what it is meant for. It's not meant as your second cleanse. So although it's lovely, it actually wasn't good just as a cleanser all by itself. I needed to follow it up with a second cleanse every time. And it just wasn't great, especially, if, I don't know, I just didn't enjoy it as much by itself. So, the more it's great for taking off makeup, and it really is good for taking off your makeup, it really melts everything down. Um, I think it does a really good job of that. It is not necessarily great as your second cleanse. So, just bear that in mind. Um, it is lovely, but it's not all that. So that's the Clarins uh, Pure Melting Cleansing Gel. Now this I picked up while I was in uh, Bali, and I'm a bit sad because I don't know what I'm gonna do when it runs out. It's the, it's very grubby, but it's the Sensatia Botanicals. It's green tea and tamarind facial cleanser, and it's not a, it's a soapless cleanser, so it's one of these natural products, and it's all based on botanicals and that kind of jazz. It's very good over there. So this I started using to because this was just our, so I bought this while I was there and using it day and night. It has got green tea, star fruit, and tamarind in there. Using it day and night, great job, absolutely great job. I used it as a second cleanse because I had sunscreen on, so I was doing that and I immediately noticed a difference in my skin. It was much better. Really, really enjoy this product. I would definitely recommend checking it out. Um, this was my favorite from that line. I picked up a few things you would have seen in a haul while I was out there. I'll try and leave it linked up there. But this is my favorite from the whole bunch. Although I do like the lotion as well. Hmm. Anyway, this is really nice. Definitely recommend it. Um, the face mask I had, not so much, but it was okay, like, but it's not the be all end all. This is really good cleanser. So those are the two cleansers I've been using recently. I've been using this one. This has lasted for ages. You only need a wee bit, um, but it's definitely running low. Um, so those are what I've been enjoying. Now, this I picked up a few months ago. It's the Pixie Skin Treats. It's the Glow Peel Pads, and it's got 20% glycolic acid and rose water. So you've got the little pads and stuff in there. Um, you can see I've made a wee bit of a dent. I only use these about once or twice a week, to be honest, just to help um, smooth my skin. And just because I don't, I haven't been doing, I've been really lazy, I haven't been doing my face masks nearly as much as I should have been. Um, so my skin is a wee bit to pot, but this is great. This just helps it gives my face a nice bit of a, uh, it feels like it resurfaces my face a wee bit. My skin feels smoother and brighter the next day. So I really like these. You put it on, you leave it on for a couple of minutes and then you splash it with cold water to deactivate it again. And yeah, it does a really good job. I must get in the habit of using it more frequently because I do like them, but I've just not got around to it. I kind of have got out of the habit of doing that. But I have so much new skincare to try out. If you would have seen my haul from America, so <laughs> I need to get on it. Now, this is beautiful. This is Samaya. And I got this months ago. You can see it's pretty much all gone. I had to remember to leave away, but just to show you that there is something in there. But I got this months and months ago. It's a, a uh, anti aging treatment oil, um, Ayurvedic skincare. Is that a word? But whatever. It's beautiful. I just love the smell of this. 
a real earthy kind of smell, really musky and beautiful and kind of heavy of itself. It's really, really nice oil. The oil itself isn't particularly heavy. Now, this was my go-to while I was in Bali to keep my skin hydrated after I washed because it's so hot out there. My skin wasn't particularly dry. It was actually because it's very humid and stuff. I was surprised that my skin definitely behaved differently as you would expect in a different climate. But um, it was, I don't know, this, this was perfect for everyday use. I would pop this on, let it sink in a wee bit before I did all my SPF and stuff. And again, at night time, oh, my skin was in, no, my skin was in a weird kind of behavior, but this kind of helped keep it as calm as it could be because me and SPF, there's always one that plays up, but however, this was really nice. I definitely recommend checking it out. Um, I am going to investigate now that I'm back again and when I've used up some other skincare, but they're really nice and it's a nice, it's a UK based, made in England, um, company and this particular one is Kaffa. I think that's what mine is. So nice, so so nice. I'm glad now I can get on with using it up because I like it so very much and it's a nice treatment oil and it would be nice in winter just lured under a light moisturizer. You don't need anything heavy over the top. It's not like I said heavy oil but I wouldn't put anything too heavy over the top. Now another little treatment oil. I got this sample. It's the Clarins um, face treatment oil. Teeny tiny amount left. Uh, I got this sample months ago when I lived in Brighton back in the day and I used it with me when I was away when my face was having a moment I popped this on and the next day my skin was generally feeling a bit better or if it's particularly cold or if I do a face mask I'll pop this oil on afterwards just to soothe my skin again and it is really lovely I don't think it's the be all and end all I think it's good but it's not like wow but it is lovely it is lovely and I would recommend investigating it now the next products eye creams I have the Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream um, and I use this, it's almost gone as you can see. <laughs> I tend to use this in the mornings. It's okay. It's not like a wow, but it's okay. It does seem to help um, keep my skin hydrated around my eyes because generally in winter I get a lot of dry patches here where my eyes leak all of the time, whether I'm yawning or it's windy outside or my face just fancies it. I tend to leak a lot at the edge of my eyes, um, but this does a great job. This keeps my skin hydrated, but it doesn't seem to do very much for alleviating wrinkles and anti, any anti-aging or anything like that, but it does make me look awake in the morning, so that's always a bonus. Now this eye cream I'm impressed with. It's the Neostrata Skin Active Intensive Eye Therapy, and this actually aims to lift and firm and smooth lines and help boost collagen. I got this at an event. I'm actually gonna do a write-up on it on the blog soon. Um, it was all about how you manage your skin and the building blocks of good skincare and good health and looking after yourself that way before you would ever consider something like cosmetic surgery and cosmetic surgery should be more about enhancing what's there rather than making you look like an entirely different person. You know, it's more about aging gracefully. That was the whole theme of it while still looking fabulous. We can all do with looking fabulous as we age. But this eye cream, it's like a gel it's more like a gel than a cream and I pop this on at night time just uh, in around my eyes you know and I make sure this is something I didn't know for years you always do it around the orbital bone because as your eye moves it draws the eye cream in around your eyes anyway so you shouldn't bring it in over your eyelids and stuff which I didn't know for a long time nobody ever explained that to me I was like why why do people not just put it all over because that's why because your skin is so delicate that if you put it here and your eye moves and blinks and whatever it brings the eye cream down in around the rest of your skin anyway so there's your new fact of the day. But this is great. I've actually noticed a difference in around my skin because I was getting serious because I've not been, I've just been flat out between moving house and everything else. I've just been flat out. But this just helps in the morning. I look up and go, oh, I don't look that awful. That's great. <laughs> you know, it just, it seems to as gradually over time, my skin just feels lovely and smooth and soft. It made such a difference, like a noticeable difference. So I'm really impressed with this treatment. Um, now, lastly, we have some moisturizers. These are, this is from Elizabeth Grant and it's a vitamin C. I was sent this to try out. Now, this is a limited run, which is very annoying, but something to keep an eye out for. I got this again in the summer. It's quite a nice lightweight moisturizer. It smells lovely and fresh without being sickening or anything. It's lovely, fresh, but a wee bit sweet. Almost reminds me of tangerine. I just got some on my lip, lovely. But this I really liked. 
very lightweight but it kept my skin nicely hydrated so if you do see it I would recommend investigating it's the Elizabeth Grant vitamin C all day cream and this was a run of I think it was QVS or somewhere like that so if I find it I will link it below if not the name will be there and you can have a hunt yourself and investigate so if you're looking for quite a nice lightweight cream that's still very hydrating this is the one to investigate this is perfect in the summer when it's you know less chilly and harsh on your skin really really like it definitely recommend checking it out I actually kept myself a bit and if you can see at the bottom I used I used a fair bit of it but I've kept myself a wee bit because some days I need something lighter um, now these two products we have from Green Angel. Now this I picked up in the airport in Ireland um, and it is an Irish brand. It's quite a small wee brand. I've not really investigated a whole pile about them. But from Green Angel we have the Seaweed and Collagen Face Cream. And I also have the Seaweed Daily Moisturizer Face Cream with Jasmine Neroli and Vitamin E. Now these are very thick creams, quite intense um, and definitely built for winter. This. The, the seaweed and collagen face cream was grand, it was okay, it wasn't anything to write home about in my opinion. It was lovely like, but it wasn't woohoo. So it was grand, but I'm not sure if I'd rush out to buy it again, I should say. This one, however, the seaweed daily moisturizer, you can see is it how it's halfway done. I love the packaging, it's just, it's a little glass jar and a nice wee lid. The only problem is you have to make sure you screw that tight before you, if you're traveling with it, you want to make sure it's really screwed on incredibly tight because the little lid at the top sometimes gets in the way. But, and it can leak, which is not ideal in a moisturizer. Um, but this I love. The smell is definitely very, uh, <laughs> you've got that seaweed scent. It's not overpowering at all, but because the jasmine in your rolly and all come in. But it's a lovely sort of essential oils smell. That lovely mix. Very, it feels very high end. Uh, this has been fabulous for me lately. This, the weather has been so harsh, and my skin just really—it kind of took a dive um, in the last month. So I've been struggling to bring it back in, and this, this is great. I was home for family reasons, and I picked this up on the way back because that's what a girl does when she's emotional and needs to shop. You buy skincare. This is really good. I really, really like it, and I will definitely be investigating more of them. You can buy them online, so I might investigate. They've got some face masks and things. Will be investigating. Really, really impressed with them, actually. Really, really impressed. This is perfect if you have dry skin, if you're struggling with the harsher weather, because it's particularly cold. We had snow and everything. I haven't had snow in a very long time. Um, so it's particularly chilly, and this is just great. Really, really good. I really enjoyed it. So those, that's a bit of a roundup of all the skincare I've been using lately. Apologies that it's all a bit like, here's all the things. But uh, I kind of just wanted to get caught up so I can get on with creating new content for you and everything. And I really wanted to share some of these products like the Green Angel and my cleanser and the eye cream. Those are my pick from the bunch. Oh, and the oil, that was a nice oil as well. Those are my pick from the bunch. Oh, and the Pixie Cluton. So, you know, five out of all of them. <laughs> I have nine products, five of them I really recommend. The Pixie, the oil, the face wash, the face cream, and the eye cream. Love them, frankly. But that's it, that's the whole crack. I hope you're keeping well. Nice to be back. And hopefully things become more regular after Christmas because you know, Christmas is a nightmare for everybody. But we're getting there people, we're getting there. Now that I've moved in and I've kind of got a space set up, we're good to go. I'm even sitting in my office chair. Look at me being fancy. I have an office chair. I can't get over it. Anyway, hope you're keeping well. I will talk to you very soon. Thanks a million for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and please tell all of your friends to come over and say hi, and I'll talk to you soon. All right? <laughs>